Hi, my name is Angelo. I'm a music composer based in China. I love this place. I have been here for many years and I got some opportunities to co-work with some local amazing musicians and creators. This is a real case for a client and we just finished this a few days ago. So I want to share with you the backstage. So let's check it out. Okay, so we are now in the FL Studio session. Today I'm working more with Cubase, yeah, using more Cubase than FL Studio. I love both. I already mentioned that in other videos. Yeah, so I have a chance to work with a foundation uh, that promotes the Chinese culture to to keep the heritage of the culture in China. It's, it's a beautiful mission these guys have. So when I got the the project. I got first the lyrics, yeah, and the lyrics is about growing up together, yeah, growing up together. So that already gives me a hint of the of the feeling of the whole song. And then uh, everything is in Chinese, by the way. So I need to to uh, translate some parts and understand what they want to express. And then I, I ask the the lyric writer. It's a, it's an amazing teacher. She's in charge of of this uh, company then I start to understand about the feeling, what they want to express in which parts. This is extremely important for any kind of project and especially if you are working for a client, they will pay you, of course, and you need to be sure that you understand what they want to express. So again, the song is about growing up together. Yeah, everything, all the lyrics is in Chinese, the audience is Chinese. I have been here in China for more than 14 years. I love it and I understand the culture and I still need to learn a little more. So that helps me to project through my music some feelings and the message of the song. So when I receive the lyrics, I decide to create a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three. I love it. And yeah, I want to show you now just a few seconds so you get the feeling. Uh, later, you can check here the links. I will post the final version of the song. They are still in, uh, in the production stage. Yeah, they are recording the voices now because it's designed for a, a big choir to sing. And in this stage, they are just testing first some voices or some adults and some kids. So the final version will be beautiful and you will see later in a link here in my channel. For now, I want to share with you the backstage of the music itself, all the instrumentations and how I got some ideas for this. So first, let's listen for a while. Yeah. So it's very lovely, yeah? The, the waltz itself, you can use it in different ways. A waltz can be very sad and very dark, but in this case, in this case, I wanted to express a little more the feeling like uh, some kids running around. Originally, the idea was only a kid's core, yeah? A, a lot of uh, kids singing this song together. And then they changed a little, but it's okay because the client needs to adjust and see what is better for them. Then uh, I start to adjust little by little and make it the melody also a little more simple. At the beginning, the first version that I don't have here was too difficult to sing or maybe a little dark at the beginning because I wanted to bring like from, from darkness to light. <laughs> so this version is the final version I already sent to the clients and start a little more lively, more happy. Yeah. So I have here first, the first is my, my main instrument is a piano. I'm going to share with you a little about this. You can see here the MIDI. Yeah. It's, it's not so difficult. Maybe the introduction is, is a little uh, complicated for saying something, but if you're a pianist, I think you, you can make this. Let's listen, just the introduction, just the piano. Okay. I like it. I love it. That was the inspiration. I will turn on my MIDI. 
the instrument I'm using for this piano in this case is the grandeur. Yeah, and let's see if it's working. Yeah. So the the whole song is in C major. Originally was in another key, I forgot, D minor, I think, it start very dark. Uh, I turned it uh, into C major. So the first chords I start to use to get into the feeling is F major and then G major and then A minor. Yeah, it's still not so happy. It's, it's like a to give you just like a feeling of a song and and i love it this is it's very nice and actually this inspiration sometimes they just come and i just sing in the piano when i got the lyrics and we start to create that so this is the first thing that came into my mind for the project since the beginning and stay until the end yeah whoa it's a little hat here i cannot turn on the air con otherwise it would make a little noise so yeah that was a piano and I also have the melody for the singers in piano first to be sure that everything match. So you can listen in part A here, they will start to sing and you just listen the melody of the singers in piano. Yeah. That's part A, yeah. The singers start to sing. Actually, it's just one person, and sometimes they combine. This is just a main melody as a reference for the singers later. And let me show you now with all the instruments. Yeah. The next thing here I was using for a waltz, and I give you a hint, are short strings, short strings. So I will show you here, I have some epic strings from Spitfire Audio, I love these guys. And it sounds like this. It's the, it's the core of a waltz, very simple. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. If you are not a, a pianist or you have some difficulties, you can listen and maybe you can download some midis and just follow that it's just one the bass and then two three one two three playing the same chord yeah so i'm playing now c major for example i start with the bass bass and chord yeah this is how 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 we create the bass for the whole waltz i'm using these sounds that are amazing and I'm using also some pizzicato. These are from Symphony Orchestra Core. Again, from Spitfire Audio. <laughs> okay, these ones are, sounds like this. It's when they hit the chords just by playing with the fingers instead of the bow, right? When they play the violins in that way. And I have different pizzicatos for different kinds of violin. You can find these sounds also in most of the, of the keyboards. If you have some synthesizers or keyboards or some virtual instruments, these sounds are very easy to find. Mm -hmm. So basically that, that's the, the strong part. So let's, let's show you here again. <laughs> This is my voice, by the way. It's just as a reference. So this part here now is part B. I just called part A, part B, and then we go to chorus. This is kind of a pre-chorus. Sometimes I don't have the structure in my head. I just go and trying to match the lyrics with the feeling. So it must change. It cannot be all the time the same. It would become very boring. So this part here, I, 
I kind of create like a feeling of a pre-chorus. It's already very, very lively. It's starting to go up. I want to share with you some arrangements I really like, and it was so nice I got inspiration since the beginning. They are the violins here. I'm using violins legato. Let me open here better. Dun, dun. Let me show you the MIDI part here. I'm using something, it's like a conversation. The main lyrics will go na 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 and then the violins they are not together they are kind of between the phrases of the singer and it sounds really nice yeah again um here I'm, I'm just sharing you it's my voice yeah but it's just as a reference then these guys they hire very cool singers and and the the final product is amazing so now, as a reference, you can hear. So you hear this part here. I, the phrase come, the phrase come here between the the phrase come between. In this part here and I have violins before and after and it sounds really nice it's like a sometimes it sounds for me like a mariachi song <laughs> to be honest in this part only in this arrangement sometimes la 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 and then the violins this is really nice this must go a little together lyrics Violence. Again, lyrics, support, and then we're getting ready for the chorus. So here I'm making a pause. Yeah, I hope this process gives you some inspiration. That's why I, I like to share this with you. If you're a songwriter, a composer, even if you have already a lot of experience creating music, when the chorus is going to come, this part here, yeah, I make a pause and then boom, the timpanis and the piati, the, 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 the splashes and the crashes, <laughs> they come together. Stop, boom! chorus there to emphasize the chorus and it comes very 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 strong another very important part uh, or instrument are the flutes and I love it the flutes are also from from BBC orchestra you can see here this is the sound of the flutes It's a orchestra flute and we are using legato, so it just is one line. Legato means that when the MIDI plays between the lines, between the notes, they have some connections. Uh, this is a legato comes in Italian, like it's like a together. I don't know exactly how to translate that. So you got the idea that they are not separate, the, the system, the design of the sound, because they are virtual instruments, right? is created in the way that a real player will play and they sometimes say they have some breathings and they have some transitions between the notes and this is what legato means it's very cool it's very important if you want to to sound a little more realistic it my honest opinion it will never sound exactly like a live real player but you can make it sound as close as possible and it can sound very beautiful so here we have flutes. 
pam, 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 pam. It's giving you already like a feeling like, hey, something, something happening is called me happy <laughs> and something more high because I, I use it, dun, 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 goes up. It goes up, the energy goes up, feeling happy. From the and then they push. They also all these sounds are, are coming from BBC Orchestra. Yeah. Now I will show you the chorus. Okay, now let me show you a little more about the instruments here. We're using in orchestra sounds, in orchestra songs, we, we have uh, violins one, that they are kind of the leaders of the violins. Then violins two is a supportive instrument. There are more violins to support. They are violas, yeah? They have a little more lower sound. The, then the cellis, the big ones, I love it. I will show you here the sounds of this one. And bass, yeah, they are the biggest one, dun, 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 the lowest, lowest, lowest sounds. Talking about the strings, yeah, this is what we call strings in orchestra. Uh, by the way, I learned all this music composition and playing the piano, everything by myself since I was a kid, and I love it. I don't know any of the real music theory. I start to learn basic things, how to write uh, uh, the musical sheets, and I'm not using that in these times. I'm using MIDI, I'm using my listening, and more than 35 years in the, in the music world, in the music industry, creating music, performing in different parts, in different cities, in different countries, and I love it. So this is this is passion. It comes like automatically, and I hope you can get some inspiration with this. Keep listening different styles. That's very important. Not only one style. If you want to create more music later, even if it's pop or is jazz or is whatever you want to create, or maybe a new style you want to to create, it's very important to listen different kinds of music. Waltz are one of my favorite. Is one of my favorite gender and, and rhythms. I love it. But I also love all the kinds of things. So you can check also here on my channel the, the music I'm creating. Yeah. So in the chorus we are using uh, some... I will show you how the the celli sounds. They are the cellos in plural in Italian called celli. Long. They are amazing. I will go lower. You see? I went out of the scale. <laughs> These are the long ones. I love the feeling. I hope one day I can learn actually how to play the real one. That would be amazing. So in this in this part I'm using also staccatos. They are the short short celli. They are playing with the bow, very aggressive. Chum, chum, one time. Yeah. And uh, also for for the chorus, I'm using most of the instruments in this case because I want to give more power. It's a chorus. I need to feel ta like the climax. <laughs> it's so important. You must emphasize all these parts, especially if it's a it's a commercial song. It's a classic song, but it's going to be uh, produced and created for more people to listen, and in some way, you need to have a how to say it, like a process, 
like a uh, structure yeah that's the right word structure so people feel familiar with the song if you want to make something weird or break the patterns or whatever this is great and maybe you want to express that in that way if you are creating something for a client and they want to use this song and sing to millions of people because that, that's what they will do then it needs to be something that people can listen and people can understand and maybe get connected in the first time pay attention to that this is very important when you are working for for clients and you are connected with the project in a in a very deep way and i know it yeah so we have flutes woodwinds right the flutes are the woodwinds uh, i have other flutes here i have a, a piccolo somewhere here the piccolo is, is a very small flute and it goes very high <laughs> to reinforce the, the high notes and this one goes down ba, 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 ba. there are small decorations that we can use uh, different instruments so also the song is not boring and one of my favorite instruments in the brass I think I have the tuba here. Let me see. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. Tuba. Tuba is the biggest of the family of the of the brasses or or horns or whatever you want to call it. Let me mute that only sound only let's listen the the tuba. Dun, dun, let's see if I can do here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love the sound. And you can add some reverb, some small effects, yeah. And then the 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 plugin already have some effects, some reverb. I will show you here. This is a wheel for reverb and all their modifications too. And I'm using the tuba of the BBC Orchestra and staccatissimo. That means like bang, 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 kind of shorts again. It's really, really nice. You can adjust the sounds. You can make some, put some effects also if you want, if you want to create a little something more artificial. Yeah. So let's go back. Mm -hmm. I make it double to have more power. So it's a one octave from the other one. Sometimes the instruments, they don't have double octaves because the range of the instrument is very short. Like for example, the piccolo or even the tuba. If I go a little higher than the C3 or C4, there is no sound already. Yeah, it's, it's just the range. You need to pay attention to the range of the instrument also when you are creating. Sometimes I, I play out of the range and I think the software have a problem or my audio hardware have a problem. But actually I forgot to check. Ah, it's because in this part of the keyboard there is no sound. Because that instrument in real life doesn't have that range, that octave. <laughs> you need to really find and pay attention to that. It happened to me so many times until now, after so many years. But yeah, you need to get used to that and learn. Something that I got some difficulties, and in case you are facing that too, are the modulations and, and the uses of the usage of the modifications or the things that you can do for each instrument. So I will give you here uh, an example. Let me open here. We are, let's check any part here, the long part, yeah. So we can see here most of the DAW DOS, your music software, most of them they have this. This is the velocity, how you play or the, the speed of, of playing each key. It's kind of also the strength in sometimes. And we have here modulation wheel. 
Yeah, we're talking about the modulation of your MIDI keyboard. This is to change the way the instrument is played. So sometimes you need to adjust and, and feel it according to, to the moment. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about that. This is very technical part. But if you can learn about that, there are so many videos and amazing people talking about this. You can check online and you will learn. This is important to give more expression and more real feeling to the instrument. So here, for example, when there is a long note, we are decreasing and increasing. Like when you play, this is a violin one, okay? One of the main instruments. When you're playing, usually the sound doesn't come dry and hard, like It's right in the violin. And also when it finish, so you have some ups and downs, right, of the waves and the curves and how the violinist is playing. So the same here, if I'm going out from a long phrase, you also can go a little lower. And this is up to you. You don't really need to do this if you don't want. If you feel it's nice and your client like it, then just relax. You don't need to go there. But sometimes you can add it to add some more realistic feeling. Yeah. So then we have a pause. This part is also very important in the construction of a song. This is after the, after the chorus. I call it just bridge or soft bridge. No singing here. You get air and then start to sing again. Also, you need to consider that the singer need to have a break, yeah, a small break. Later we have a solo, yeah, that also is a break for the singer, it's very important. And then we repeat, this is the same at the beginning, similar melody. I add some instruments here. I love these arrangements, I will show you here. I still don't know how to pronounce this name. Glockenspiel. I don't know, you correct me if, if I pronounce it right or wrong. These are like the small bells. Let me find the... You hear? And you see the range of the instrument is very short, very high. It's very soft, very nice. Yeah, and I put a little more reverb here to have more presence and, and more ambience in the room. So for example, I'm making this arrangement here. And this arrangement also goes together with the melody. When the singers are singing, <laughs> they have this to support their melody. Sometimes you can just write it down the MIDI dot by dot. Or you can play if you can play that uh, by yourself. Yeah. So just give you some ideas what you can do. And then at the end we have more arrangements of the Glockenspiel or something like that. So I don't want to make so long this. It still requires some time to explain what are the things I'm doing here, but just to give you some, some feeling of the construction part. And then we go back to part two again This arrangement here. I don't know from where it come from. I just wanted to stop and add some brasses. Pom, 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 pom. <laughs> I 
and then the course is the same. I was changing a little of the arrangements, not too much. This is different. And then the solo. The solo is a flute. I love it, the flute here really much. And then this part. This is just almost arriving to the end. In this part, I wanted to, after all the noise and everything, kind of a celebration and let's go together. And yes, when I was a kid and when I was a, an adult or something like that, then I want to bring in like a come, come, come back to your heart, come back to the feeling that we are here together, kind of holding hands and this kind of, kind of things. So I change the arrangements. I make it a little more soft, more intimate. I use some pizzicatos, some pianos, and then start to go up. Some brasses. It's beautiful. So some kids will sing this part, and I am at your side, we are going to grow together, let's go grow together, so they make the emphasis of the, of the, of the name of the song and the message, and then the end. Okay, we are arriving to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some inspiration for your own creative process. In the next videos, I'm going to share more about the backstage, how I create, all the things I have been learning in so many years, and I hope you learn also something together with me. Yeah, take care, give us a like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.